Hello everyone, we are going to solve practice problem 3.1 from Sadiku book. So the question is obtain the node voltages in the circuit of this figure. So we have two nodes here, node 1 and node 2. Okay, let's give some notation on that. And the first step that we need to do is we assume the direction of the current it is going in or out the nodes. You can use any direction, but I usually use uh, going to the right and going down so here i want to use going to the right here going to the right and this one is going also going to the right and for this one i want it to going down and this one i want it to going down okay now the next step is doing analysis on both nodes so let's start at node one we need to use KCL at not one. So I will use KCL at not one. KCL said that the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. So I will write it like this. The current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. There are one current that goes in here, which is 3 ampere. So I will have 3 there. And the two other currents is going out. I will have this one here, which is equal to V1 minus 0 divided by 2 ohm. 0 is because of the ground here. So the voltage here will become 0. So I will have V1 here minus 0 divided by the resistance between them which is 2 ohm and then plus v1 minus v2 here v1 minus v2 divided by the resistance between them which is 6 okay now let's simplify this equation so i will have 3 is equal to v1 over 2 and then plus v1 minus v2 divided by 6 so i want to get rid of the denominator here which is 2 and 6 so i can multiply both sides maybe by 6 so let's multiply both sides by 6 so i will have 3 multiplied by 6 is 18 and then i will have 3 v1 and then this 6 will cancel out i will have v1 minus v2 Okay, let's simplify the right hand side first which is 4 v1 minus v2 which is equal to 18 okay there is nothing that we can do next so let's just save this as equation number okay okay now let's do another kcl but this time in node number two so let's do that again so let's write it KCL at node 2, which is the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, there are one current here that goes in and this current is P1 minus P2 here divided by the resistance between them which is 6 and then the other currents is going out this current here will be 12 ampere so i will have 12 here and then plus this current here which is going out and i will have p2 minus 0 divided by 7 so i will have p2 minus 0 divided by 7 so to get rid of 6 and 7 here, maybe I need it to multiply by what? 42? Yeah, let's do that. 42. 6 and 42 will cancel into 7. So I will have 7 P1 minus 7 P2 here. And then 12 multiplied by 42. Oh, that's hard. 12 multiplied by 42 is 504 okay 
let's put that here and this seven will cancel into six so i will have this one will be plus six v2 okay now let's move out this to the left hand side so we'll have seven v1 minus 13 v2 is equal to 500 okay there is nothing that we can do here save it as equation number two Okay, from equation 1 and equation 2, we can rewrite this as a matrix, right? So, I will have 4, minus 1, 7, and then minus 13. Okay, now I will have this one as P1 and P2. And then that will equal to 18 and 504. Okay. Now let's give it to our lovely calculator. So we will have V1 and V2. Okay, now where is my calculator? Here. And let's set up this as equation solver, which is number 5. And I need three variables here. Oh no, two variables. So I will have number 1. And let's put these numbers here. That is 4 minus 1. And then 18. And then 7. And then minus 13. And 504. Yeah. And let's solve that. So I will have the x1 is minus 6. So that is the v1, which is minus 6. And then the y1, which is minus 42, which is... 42 4. So the unit is fault, and this is also fault. So our final answer is V1 is minus 7 fault, minus 6 fault, sorry, and then V2 is minus 42 fault. And that's it for practice problem 3.1. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes, and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.